welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming hot new palettes and I love filming this series for you guys because it means I have acquired a bunch of new makeup to try out. So without further ado, let's get into some of my newest palette purchases. Okay, so where do we start? Let's start with the drugstore because I've already talked about these in a haul video, but I thought they deserved another shout out. These are the Maybelline The City Mini palettes and I have three shades and I am going to be doing a first impressions video on these. I just haven't found the time yet, so be patient with me. I have Rooftop Bronzers, I have Urban Jungle, which is the green, and then Chill Brunch Neutrals, which is the purpley one. Uh, these are so cute, I love the size. They remind me so much of the Smashbox Cover Shot eyeshadows, and they're so little and compact. What a great idea. I have played with one of them. I played with the purple one, but I am going to save my opinion for the video. So you guys are gonna have to subscribe to my channel so you can find out what I think of all of these palettes. Don't you guys love it when I sing? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Next is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Now I already have a Get Ready With Me featuring this palette, so if you're curious to know my thoughts, Definitely check out that video. I love the packaging. They did such a beautiful job with this palette But again, I am going to save my opinion You guys are going to have to watch my palette videos on these because I am going to do individual reviews on all of them Here is one that uh, the review is already up. This is a Natasha Denona sunset palette and this buddy is going back to Sephora I am so over this palette you guys I used it today, I thought the look came out beautifully, but I had so much fallout in my under eye, I just cannot deal with a hot mess of $129, I just can't do it, it's not worth it for me, so I will be taking this back to the Sephora store, don't hate me, I'm telling you guys there's better eyeshadow palettes out there, just watch my review, I will link it up in the cards. Next is the Carly Bible palette, I was not planning on buying this, but then they stocked it at Ulta and I was like, hey, what the hey, I'll try it out. If I hate it, I can take it back. I did not like the first Carly Bible palette and uh, I have swatched this preliminary testing shows. I am not going to be liking this palette or keeping it, but I will give it a fair shot. Watch for it in a future first impressions video or a review. I love the packaging. I think it was nice of her to bring us a deluxe edition, but what the fuck, Carly? You couldn't come up with a brand new palette for us? Like, you had to recycle some old shit and give it to us? You know, just my opinion. <laughs> Next is one that I already have a first impressions on. This is the Magic Palette by Juvia's Play. I will do a full review on this palette because this is probably one of my favorite palettes of 2017 so far. It is so bomb. Juvia's Place just keeps freaking killing it. And if you haven't tried them yet, I don't know what your problem is. You need to try them. Their palettes are freaking amazing, y'all. Next is another one by Juvia's Place. They just keep coming up with new palettes. This is the Zulu by Juvia's Place. And honestly, they probably didn't really need to release this palette because we've seen these shades in other palettes. But it's kind of nice to have a small eyeshadow palette. And I still can pull off a neutral look in this palette with this brown shade and this pinky gold shade. Um, it reminds me of a very, very neon palette. Kind of like the Urban Decay Electric palette. I haven't played with the brighter shades yet, but I do have a video swatching these shadows, so I'm gonna link it up in the cards if you guys are curious. But I will have a full review on this palette. So again, guys, I have a lot of makeup to test out. Please be patient with me. I do appreciate it. And then another brand that I've been dying to try is this one. This is Suva Beauty, and this is the Neutral Necessities palette by them. Of course, I fell for the packaging, guys. It is so cute. And then these are what the shades look like. I saw a lot of really positive reviews on this brand. So, of course, I had to try a palette. And I actually got this one on Amazon for about $29, which I was really pumped about. Because this is a Canadian brand, and if you buy it off of their site, it's $45. And you have to pay for shipping. So, Mama was really happy when she found it on Amazon. And I am interested in playing with this some more. I, again, need to film a first impressions video for you guys. I'm going to stop saying that because you're going to get sick of hearing it. Um, but yeah, I will review all of these palettes for you eventually. <laughs> and then, of course, I had to pick up some singles from the Colored Rain Singles collection. So no, this is not a palette, but it is full 
of beautiful singles by Color Rain. I've heard so many good things about this brand that I decided to splurge and pick some up when they were on sale. So I will be reviewing these single shadows as well as the Queen of Hearts palette for you guys soon. That is on pre-order now. So if you want the Queen of Hearts palette, it is coming back. I would suggest snatching that shit up because it is another great indie brand, another great eyeshadow palette um, by an indie brand. I believe Color Drain is a black owned brand. So all of those reasons, buy it. It's an amazing palette. I don't have it out here, but I will have a review for you guys soon. I had to buy this because you guys, I loved the movie so much. Emma Watson killing it as Belle and uh, yeah, it just made me fall right back in love with Beauty and the Beast and look at this packaging. It has a rose on it. It looks like a book. It says tale as old as time. There's a little flappy thing here. You open it up. There's this gorgeous mirror and like these beautiful shades that take you right back to Disney's Beauty and the Beast. And yeah, it's just stunning. They even have a little ribbon there. So it looks like a bookmark. And you guys know I will be playing with this and giving you my honest review soon. Um, pick this up. I got this from Ulta and I just think it's a wonderful presentation. I really wanted their lipstick kit that they had, but I didn't need it. So I'm going to try this out and uh, hopefully I'll like it. I'm gonna give Lorac one more chance. They had to come out with the freaking Beauty and the Beast palette. Make me buy it. Last but certainly not least is this guy by Dose of Colors. This is the Marvelous Mauves palette. And I think I showed this in a haul video, but I like to round up my palettes, especially for this video. So this is what it looks like. Nice and compact. I really want the rust one as well, the one with all the brown shades. But this is the one with all the mauve shades because I was trying to be out of the box and pick up something new and different because I'm so boring and I always pick the warm brown tones. So you will see this in a first impressions video soon as well. Okay guys, that is it for my hot new palettes video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully I will have another one coming up for you soon. I am expecting the Jaclyn Hill palette here shortly. I'm also expecting um, the I Love Sarah Heat collection from ColourPop as well as that dupe looking thing for the Natasha Denona palette. I'm so excited because I think I'm going to film one more video before I take this back where I compare those two palettes because this is $129 and that was a $16 palette which I think is an amazing deal. So look forward to all those videos and all those reviews. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with my uploads. Thanks so much for watching guys and have a great day. Bye y'all.